Oh hey, what are you doing over there? Come over here. That's better. I'm in my work clothes at the moment, so uh, let me just get changed quickly. Okay, that's much better. Let's go on with the vlog. Okay, so uh, welcome to end of week number two vlog reflection. Um, it's been a great week actually. I've had the opportunity to go to Paris um, and uh, Disneyland Paris actually. Ended up going up on the Sunday morning to get to outside Central for 7.45 in the morning. I got there at 7.30 and we departed for 8 o'clock in the morning. It took about 13 hours to actually get to Disneyland Paris, so it was absolutely tiring. Um, it took so long and I ended up getting so bored. So yeah, we travelled traveled by coach, we went through the Eurotunnel as well. So yeah, we went from Folkestone to Calais and then up from Calais we went straight to Paris. We had one pit stop at services and um, I, you know, here's a clip of me finding out the first French item that I found. Well, we have first come across our first French item today and it's Sans Sucre's a soap potato dose. Amazing. So yeah, once we got to Disneyland Paris, we didn't have much time to explore or anything like that. We got there around about 9pm, so on our coffee curfew was at around 11.30. Uh, so yeah, once we got there, we went into our rooms to check if there was any damage done or anything like that. And then after that, we had the opportunity to actually go into the Disney Village, not the park itself, uh, just to get something to eat. Um, so we went to Annette's, I had an awesome uh, hot dog with uh, melted cheese sauce on the top of it with some chips on the side. It was absolutely delicious. I would go there again, definitely. Um, so in the morning, um, which was the Monday, we had a media conference, which is Media Live. It is um, basically organised by an organisation and we had three guest speakers there. So we had a woman from Comedy Central, she's been on QI and things like that as well, that as, a, as a guest. And also we have a, uh, a lady who works for the BBFC and she was talking about the issues and struggles that they have with um, grading a particular film um, because it can be sometimes quite controversial such as the clip from uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves where she's running through the forest and she sees all of these bits of nature turning into monsters and things like that and they thought that it'd be too too scary they ended up having to remove that or edit it or something like that and um, it was quite controversial and quite rather difficult to actually uh, grade really so it was really interesting to see how she tackles issues like that and how there's a group or organization um, that she can work with to actually enable um, things well to get that actual or right grade that, that's needed um, and then our third lady was from Disney Disneyland uh, she was in charge of marketing so she was the big chief lady and she was um, talking to us about how she gets uh, their specific audience which is families with children, families without children, teenagers and children themselves as well and how they manage to get all of those that, that the whole audience to essentially buy their products using the funnel method. Um, I'm, it's gone sort of through my head um, on the stages of the funnel marketing uh, but it was really interesting when I was there. Um, it was it was by using banners on websites, videos on YouTube, TV commercials is a massive one and it ends up basically enabling or pushing the audience that consume those uh, adverts to then investigate, research the website and the brand itself to then book their tickets and flights, accommodation and things like that. And once they investigate and they are researching, the website has to sell even more to persuade them to actually book something. So that was really, really interesting. After that, we had, um, we basically went into the park. Um, I didn't really have much time to do some blog work because I was too excited, there's too much going on. Um, we went in a group I was with Eden and Elliot. Uh, we didn't really go on many rides uh, in the morning. We were quite tired and just trying to explore and know, get our bearings of the whole place really. So yeah, that was, that was pretty decent. Um, and then in the afternoon we sort of lost Eden and Elliot and I was with Ashton as well and we decided, well I decided, to actually go on my first roller coaster and it was called Thunder Mountain and here is a clip of me uh, on my first roller coaster. I won't play a lot of it but please mind my French. So 
so yeah, that was some, quite something. Um, you know, um, after that, I couldn't stop going on rides. I went on loads of them. I went on every single big roller coaster that there was. I went on Hyperspace Mountain. I went on Thunder Mountain again with Eden. That was her first roller coaster, um, and it was it was a great experience. We went on Paris Caribbean. Um, what was the other one? Aerosmith, which is the rock and roll one, had loads of loops in it and things like that. I, basically, I did all the rest of the rides on Tuesday, and then um, Planet Hollywood, we had our dinner there. Yeah, I was with Kyle, Charlotte, Vicky, Eden, uh, Ashton, and obviously myself. It was great there, um, we had a lot of fun. Um, it was just a little bit, you know, upsetting that it was our last meal before we had to travel in the morning. Um, and then obviously on the uh, Wednesday we travelled early morning back to Calais from Paris onto the Eurotunnel to arrive at Buxton and then we had another journey back to Exeter Central and that didn't take as long, that journey didn't take as long as the one going to Paris for some bizarre reason and um, I think it's just because we didn't stop as much as we did on the first leg of the journey but yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. Once I got here, I was absolutely shattered. We did have an email from Emily saying about our proposal, one-to-ones that we were doing, uh, where we have to talk to our teacher and talk through our proposal and what we're doing, and they sign it off so that we can actually progress onto our research. Now, I have started some of my research as practitioners and my uh, audience and uh, competition. Um, I'm still developing it. It's still really early stages, but um, eventually then, because um, she basically also said that because my tutorial session was on the Friday, I didn't have to go on the Thursday. So I spent my Thursday um, basically looking after my dad because he wasn't very well, so I didn't have much time to do some blog work. Um, and then on the Friday, we ended up also being told that Caroline, who I was meant to have my proposal talk with, was ill, so I didn't have to go in on the Friday either. That day, I did spend some time sort of planning this vlog. Um, and getting my things together for the week ahead and obviously work which I had today um, and obviously today I have obviously I'm filming this and I will be editing it uh, tomorrow and it should be up and, and done on the Sunday so um, so far I am enjoying FMP I feel like I am going uh, falling a little bit behind again uh, I think it's, it's not an issue though I know what I'm doing and I'm making sure that I'm taking my time with it but ensuring that my time management is still balanced out with social life, work and uh, college itself. So um, I am balancing it out and doing the right amount of work when needed. Um, I feel that I am going to meet my deadline um, on time. The proposal, it means because Caroline wasn't in on the Friday, it means that I'm gonna have to, uh, it's a little bit annoying because now we don't go in on Monday, so Tuesday is our only lesson. I'm going to have to also contact Emily and say that basically I can't do Tuesday because I'm up filming for the Royal Marines with Benjamin, Matty and Oliver, um, which is also in, who are also in our class. So it's going to have to reschedule to Wednesday. So it's a little bit frustrating the way things are going at the moment, um, but hopefully this will get better on the third week. So on the third week, I'm going to start doing my research, get my proposal signed off and sorted, um, and actually get things moving along because I feel like I'm hitting a brick wall and I'm not. I haven't got that ladder yet to actually climb over and to progress. Um, so that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and listening to me. I'm just trying to stop saying the um a lot as well so I think this is really helping me I can already notice that I'm not saying it as much so yeah I'll see you next week goodbye